two things. First of all, I'm going to talk really about the about one of the subtexts of this meeting. And second, before I do anything else, I guess is the only co-chairman-like person of the CED in, in the room that I ought to add uh, my thanks and our thanks to everyone here, to all of the speakers, particularly to our two senators, to guests, and Roger, to you for providing us with these facilities. I do want to, to make one specific other, um, I want to pump for one other book. Um, all of you were probably as impressed as I was by all of these presentations, but particularly by the calm and dispassionate presentation of Bill Lewis. I ought to tell everybody that 44 years ago at Oxford, I was asked to by Bill over to, as Bill was, is uh, considerably older than I am, um, <laughs> to his rooms for a drink. And uh, over the next year, uh, in exactly the same way, but with slightly more edge, because he was much younger at the time, every argument I thought I deeply believed in was demolished by Bill in precisely the cool and dispassionate way he presented the facts behind the health care episode, the health care crisis. And if you want another thing to read, read Bill's book of approximately two years ago on productivity, uh, where it stems from and how to change it. Uh, let me talk about business in a moment for change. Uh, and these are thoughts that we at the CED have been boiling around with for several years. First, the atmosphere in Washington for real policy making which is where you contend with real problems and, have to, and actually have to have some respect for other positions, uh, has been poisonous. Business didn't cause it, but business didn't help it either. Uh, for the most part, in the, last, in the last, say, 10 years, business has either gone with the flow or it's been absent from the game. Second, what we at the CED have called the vital center has been hollowed out. Real debate over real issues and real solutions has been replaced by an endless spiral of campaigning, fundraising, and appeals to self-perpetuating interests at both ends of the political structure. For a long time, both parties have seemed to be captured by political consultants whose currencies are division and wedge issues. And what we've lost in all of this is a classic American pragmatism, an environment of seriousness of purpose, a capacity for compromise, a distrust of rigid orthodoxies, and above all, a constant reach for what works. I hope that that's going to be a dominant theme of what you hear today. Over the next several years, the CED, led by Charlie Cobb and our two new co-chairs, are going to be part of rebuilding this vital center. We're not going to simply write good position papers and throw them out into the ether. We're going to focus principally on a few critical issues, health care, America's fiscal challenge, education, America's changing role in the world, and the rising threats to our environment. We are, of course, going to write, but we're going to spend more of our energy and resources building the dialogue. And we're going to stay with these issues for as long as it takes. And we're going to start by recognizing something that both senators have emphasized both in our pre-meeting and in previous meetings we've had. On every single issue that America faces today, there is no solution that does not involve reaching across the political aisle and melding the best ideas from wherever they come. This is the subtext of today. The main text, which is critical, is how do we deal with health care? Uh, and how do we change it in a way that will improve the personal security of America's families, improve how our economy works, improve our competitiveness globally, and stop digging the hole that David Walker mentioned. CED has thought long and hard about this idea and about this direction. Uh, and I think I'll leave the script and won't, won't try to elaborate on what Joe and Bill said. I ought to remind everybody it's possible to fail. I was part of the last serious effort to do anything big about health care in the Clinton administration. And there was a complete breakdown on both sides to build a center around the quest for a solution. We in the Clinton Center didn't reach out to the other side. And business's sole contribution at that point as I saw it, and I came out of the business uh, sector and went back into it, was an unending negativity. So we failed and we didn't then do anything for 16 years. Now there's a glimmer of hope today. 
Both presidential campaigns have made health care a major issue. Both have different approaches. Both have a lot of work to do to be a, to be a full, full approach. And there's an obvious middle ground that can be uh, created. And very luckily, we have two senators with us today who've been working on that middle ground on a bipartisan basis for a long time. They'll discuss the, the issues. But I want to thank Senators Wyden and Bennett both for taking the time to be here, uh, but also really much more importantly for your service and for the immense amount of effort that has been spent on this effort. And with any luck at all, sometime in the next six months, we can actually begin to bring up about a fruition. A brief comment, finally, about business. As I said, it's been largely absent from the game. I saw an enormous amount of involvement by senior business leaders in a pragmatic way on a wide range of issues when I was in the Carter administration. I saw a lot less when I was in the Clinton administration. And for the last 10 years, during several of which has, has been said I had the honor of being one of CED's co-chairs, I really saw precious little. It may be and it probably is that all businesses have gotten caught up in the market follies of this period just as the financial sector did and thought that none of this mattered. But there's now a moment and we see it slowly emerging from the words of senior business leaders and particularly after Pete Peterson made his important comments about the absence of business statesmanship a few years ago. Senior business people know that America's economic role in the world is changing that the nature of business is changing, that the world of their and our employers, employees is changing, and that the implicit and explicit social contract in America has to change. And it's time for them all to begin to say it. The way for business truly to contribute constructively to all of these changes is to see themselves as part of the debate, not as some business groups tend to do, lurch off into political campaigns against particular candidates or parties in defense of what Matt Miller has called and will call when he speaks so correctly the tyranny of dead ideas. As I open by saying, CED intends to help, to provoke, and to stimulate business in this debate. And maybe, particularly in healthcare, another moment is coming. If it is, we should grab it. Thanks.